Donald Trump has done this one every year for a while now. He's going to repeat what he thinks is one of his best ideas, but in reality, it's insane. These incredible people came back to this country, and what have we gotten for it? What have we gotten? We spent two trillion dollars in Iraq, and then we pull out. Now, I took a lot of heat, except from conservative people. When we went over there, I said, hey, I assume we're taking the oil. Are we taking the oil? And people said, what a horrible thing to do. You know, in the old days, you had a war. You ever hear the expression, to the victor belongs the spoils? Okay? To the victor. And I took such heat. It actually was Al. It was at CPAC. I said, if we leave, it'll take the oil. At least pay us back. And I come out, front page news, oh, Trump is a horrible human being. He wants to take the oil from a sovereign country. Sovereign. Give me a break. You see the people ripping off sovereign. <laughs> hey. Unbelievable. I can't believe people clapped at that, man. That's probably even worse than what he said, because we already know he's an idiot, and he's made that comment so many times, but you're clapping at that? And how, how can you mock that they're a sovereign nation? They are a sovereign nation. That's a fact. What are you, you're acting like silly people who say it's a sovereign nation and bring up that fact of reality. But it is a sovereign nation. What, they have darker skin than us and they're Muslim, so they don't count? How does this work? And the room just cheered for a brazen violation of international law and the Nuremberg Tribunals and the Geneva Convention and the Constitution. I mean, think about what he wants. We invade a country that didn't attack us, okay? We had 5,000 of our guys die. 100,000 civilians on their side die. We wrecked the country and broke it. And then he wants us to steal the oil. Now, I want you to imagine for a second any other country on Earth acting that way and how Donald Trump would react. Let's say Iran did that. Iran invades a country that didn't attack them. They kill 100,000 civilians there, uh, they, and then they take the oil. Would Donald Trump be talking about it in glowing terms? That's what leaders do. To the victor goes the spoils. That's how it works right there. What's the problem? No, he'd be screaming that they're terrorists and that they're a threat to international security and that they violated the law and that we should bring them to justice and all this stuff. I mean, see, this is, this is the problem. This is why he's an idiot. This is why he's not a serious person. He doesn't apply the same standard to himself as he does to other countries and other countries people. It is the textbook definition of a hypocrite. And everybody in that audience that clapped, they're all hypocrites. They all don't get it. They don't understand the rules of the world that we live on, okay? That's not okay. You can't just say, this thing right here, this crazy set of circumstances and events that I'm gonna do, it's fine for me, but it's not fucking fine for you. Why? Because I'm just special. I'm just above it all. The rules don't apply to me. I'm, I'm superior. You know, because th that's not true. There's no argument for that. You're just trying to... You are the bad guy. See, that's the point I'm trying to make here. If you do that, if you're in favor of that, and they are, you are the bad guys. You look in the mirror. You are the problem in the world. You are the evil people. You are the bad people. 